So, in this video, I want to talk about why I believe I don't need math to prove that size equals distance at fundamentally different levels of physics, and that when we go inward into the realms of the very small, we are going in a fundamentally different fourth dimensional direction. So when we talk about mathematics, we do have infinity within the math, and this is why they have been unable to combine general relativity with quantum mechanics, because when you do that, it says that the curvature of gravity reaches infinity. Now, we acknowledge this when we are talking about, say, black holes. So when we're talking about the singularity in a black hole, we acknowledge the infinity in the mathematics. So let me just read real quick. Gravitational singularity. Equations for these physical theories predict that the ball of that the ball of mass of some quantities becomes infinite or increases without limit. So what, what's important here is to look at how the quantity becomes infinite, increasing without limit. When we talk about infinity, the idea that something is infinitely small actually does not make sense. So in the math, what we're seeing, so we have a linear space here. So this is a two-dimensional analogy to our 3D universe would be this flat linear space here. And then we have the inward curvature into a black hole. And so we say because of the breakdown in matter, that black hole reaches a singularity, which is a point of infinity. But remember, we're talking about infinity, so when you ask what is a point of infinity or infinitely small, that doesn't actually make sense. And so what the math, we're allowing the math for a black hole, but what the math is actually saying is that any time we follow the curvature inward far enough, it goes infinitely. It's not telling us there's a point where it stops. It's saying the curvature of space going inward in the direction of very small is infinite. That's what the math is saying. And so we actually have what, I, what superspace theory states is that if you look at our universe as a flat sheet in a two-dimensional analogy, and this is linear space, that inward curve is there regardless of whether it's a black hole or a planet or a particle. It's that the direction of very small curves into infinity. So it's not actually becoming smaller. It's a fourth fundamental spatial direction. And that's what super space theory states. And actually, what the math is stating is true. And when we see that our universe is a field with other fields of space lying alongside or under it, then we can interpret math and you know, create theories that deal with linear space here, and yet recognize that every point in linear space can move inward infinitely infinitely far. Every point can hypothetically move inward. So infinity 
lies at every point in space in the sense that every point in space, our linear space, can curve inward infinitely. So if we look at space from a two-dimensional analogy and we're just looking at it as this flat sheet with no, no deeper dimension, we think everything's just getting smaller. So we say it breaks down to an infinite point, right? Because we think it, it's all on the same dimensional sheet. But if we look at it as a field of space with deeper fields underneath, then we can see that when we're going smaller, at some point we start to go deeper. Instead of inward, we're moving in a fundamentally different direction. And that's the fourth spatial dimension, the fourth direction, or fourth degree of freedom, which is a fourth dimension in space. And that's inward into the realms of the very small. In that direction, goes inward infinitely, regardless of whether there's a black hole or not. The math is saying that the direction of small goes infinitely in that direction. So it's not actually getting smaller. It's a fundamentally different direction of the fourth dimension lying alongside our own field of space. And that's what superspace theory is makes the claim. And it's supported by the math that we already have. It's just the interpretation which is different.